and I have to say the results are amazing. What you're seeing right now only took me like 60 to 70 minutes of actual work time and the results are speaking for itself. So I do have to say, I believe that times are changing in the industry. Crazy, crazy. Hey guys, unfortunately it's me again and a couple of days ago I shared a video about my newfound love for a certain workflow that accelerates my like creative process as much as possible while still keeping all of the creative influence that I want to have over my work. So I used extensively a tool called Streetboard AI and since over the last video I could not go over all of the aspects as much as I wanted to I thought that I would make a follow-up video specif specifying on the workflow that I used and why I think that this tool is the ultimate choice for like a 3D artist that still has like speed in mind but wants as much control over his work as possible. So let me give you a rundown and a more in-depth explanation over the tool Treeboy AI that I've used and also how I made the animation that you probably saw in the beginning. Just to clarify, this is not a sponsored video. Tripo does not know that I'm making this video. I'm making this video actually because I think this workflow is amazing for me and I'm so having so much fun working in this way. With that said, Check in the link in the description below. The promo code from last time still applies today, so be quick, free credits, no credit card needed. All right, let's jump into the, into the process here. I know that I'm going to use the left lower corner, so I'm gonna put myself on the right lower corner. I've started um, with generating a robot. You can get your reference material from wherever you want to, but for me, I was just like, okay, what am I using for this tutorial? I'm going to use a robot. So even the reference material I created was with AI. In this case, I used Crea and I, I told it to edit a collage, give me a collage. I tried it a couple of times. I have to say that I was like the most happy with the first one that, that I actually got. I upscaled it a little bit in Photoshop. And then with these images, we can go straight up into the Trooper Studio. Once you have logged in, again, if you want to use the promo code displayed on top, so you can get 300 free credits or like 10 free tries and free generations. I click on generate a model. And since I have a couple of images, I could also do a one click solution. So I don't have to manually adjust anything at all. It's just giving me the max performance that it thinks it's accurate for me, which I will do right now, but I will focus on build and refine. So I'm just gonna give it all the information that it needs. There you go. It's private, smart, smart, low poly. I don't, I don't care. I'll generate it. And you can see it's already taking some time over here. It's queuing, generating, but I'm going to do this exact same thing in 20 seconds. It's ready. I'm going to do the exact same thing with build and refine. You can already use it in low poly, which is like a really efficient way of making low poly avatars and, and, and creatures and like objects. Like the, the edge flow is quite okay. But again, I'm gonna go balls to the wall. I'm just generating and you can see the difference then. And we are actually already done. So this is the build and refine workflow. So you see, we only have the, the mesh, but if we go over to the one click solution, this is the first thing that comes up. That's it. Like I literally only clicked one click and generate and this is what we're getting. The wireframe solution, it, it doesn't look too bad, right? Especially for a robot character, you can actually work with this with minor tweaks. You can separate the meshes from each other or can actually do it is right into in the studio, which we're gonna see in a second. But for most applications, you can actually just download it from here and you're good to go. That's the wonder of one click solution. I wanna refine my mesh a little bit though. So we can go over other parts of what we're doing here. The overview just gives you an overview of all that has gone into this, into this model so far. Segmentation lets you separate parts of this robot and make it into their own separate parts. This will cause a little bit more work when you're texturing the model later on. This is why I'm not doing it right now. I'm going over the texturing as immediately and will then build and refine, like seg segment it later on. Retopologizing, I can actually quickly show you with my with the one-click solution. So I'm going to retopologize smart polygon, oh, smart polygon, and I re I retopologize. Boom, and we are done. And you can see, if we go into the wireframe mode, that we have a fairly low poly model over here. With all of the textures, 
you can download it and use it this has so much half-life one vibes like half-life vibes in, in general so old, old valve games amazing by the way i'm gonna move myself over to the left side now if you're not happy with what just happened you actually have a history feature in Tripo as well which means you don't like you don't like the smart topology that has happened right now no problem at all just go back and we have reversed it. It's still here. You can upgrade to have like a longer history. I think up now, up right now, it's like 10, 10 operations that it's saving, which is more than enough, really, really. I'm going back to my build and refine, build and refine model because now I want to show you about the texturing. So you can either texture it with the image that you have right here, which I'm going to do, generate texture, which will give you an amazing albedo map. You can also give it a style. In this case, since I took a robot, you can. Uh, Give it your your own styles if you want if you want to or have it have a wooden look i think having it have a wooden look might be cool um but i'm gonna play with this a little bit later what i really want to show is the magic brush now since we have this robot over here we can now edit the texture as we want to i'm just gonna give it the original prompt something like this for instance and now i'm gonna find a place where i want to actually have this change take in effect and as soon as I click generate preview, it will take a second to think, it will generate an image and based on this image and the camera position that we're having right now, I can paint the new texture onto this model. This already looks amazing. So I can see that the image on the left side, I can just paint over here on, on the right side too. Boom. Have some more details in here maybe as well. And this can be a little bit more dirty too. And I think this part down here suits our aesthetic pretty well too as soon as as soon as i'm moving the camera i can go to a different part of the robot i have to generate a new image perfect just paint over here give it here a little bit more of that look and make it a little bit cleaner over here as well perfect so i i will go over this robot a little bit until I'm happy with what I see and we'll see each other after this little time lapse. Perfect, now that we have our ground truth, so to say, we can click on P PBR generator since it is a robot, so we want to make it more metal. And I should have read the description for segmentation because it tells me that the quad topology is not yet supported since our model is already here in in quad topology maybe we want to just retopologize it into triangles and then we can segment it further okay this actually took like two seconds or something and i already paused the recording but let's click on start segmenting and as of right now um first of all the computer is doing its thing so it's segmenting the model how it sees fit and then you can edit those segments later later on I do have to say, I don't think that's ideal. I think I would love to give the segmentation some sort of guidance on maybe the limbs, right? I only want the limbs to be segmented, not all of it. Um, but as of right now, it is what it is. And then we can work with it and, and adjust it afterwards. would love to have the option to adjust, this bef adjust it before, but we'll see. Okay, it's done. Uh, and you know exactly now what I mean with uh, it's kind of all over the place with the segmentation as it is right now but we can manually with the tools that we have down here select our stuff and I'm just going to separate some of these things and combine some of those as parts as I need okay I think I now have all the segmentation that I need and now let's first of all save our changes and you can see that our mesh is now divided into individual parts. What that actually means is that you can go part by part and click part completion, for instance. Completing a part means that it's now its own separate object and an enclosed encapsulation. And if we do this with all our parts, we have our robot. In the future, you're going to be able to recreate and also like regenerate meshes from this. Right now, this is only giving you a little bit of more control over parts. Right now, this is only really useful for separating meshes cleanly from each other and it also gives you more options in the texture option over here. Having separated all of this into parts is also giving you another benefit because now you can generate textures based on parts, which is quite cool. 
So you can see already that I gave this arm another style reference. Now I'm generating the leg with another style reference, all by just being able to separate those parts from each other and selecting those parts and selecting those parts um, when clicking on generating texture. You can do this with magic brush generator and PBR generator as well. Perfect, but I think this is enough customization within Tripo AI. I could rig the character within here and also give it another style, right? Making it Lego, voxel, or giving it a Warner texture in there. However, I think in this case, it's smarter that I do it in Blender and leave that to manual work for now. I can click down here and export. I'll export it as LGLB, I'll rename it, and then I'll bring it into Blender. Okay, so this is the robot here in Blender, and you can you can see it's looking quite all right. You can now refine it if you want to, give it more animations, give it more life if you want to, or keep it. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly rig it up and then bring it over to Unreal Engine. Okay, and now it's only a matter of fine tuning right now. We have our robot, our robot is rigged up. You can see that there are still some issues that robots shouldn't have, like bending bo bending geometry when I'm rotating. But in general, I can quickly fine tune that and bring it over to Unreal. Hey, post-production Niels here. I'm just gonna tell you what I did. I rigged the character further. I gave it a little IK rig, then I gave it a rudimentary animation within Blender which I then baked to the armature and exported back out to Unreal Engine. And I believe on the screen now you can see the final animation of the robot. For the Unreal Engine environment, after bringing the robot into Un Unreal Engine, I used this modular sci-fi indoor outdoor environment pack Rocky Swamp Planet by the creator named Jesse Storm's asset, just so I'm not taking credit for work that I didn't do. However, you can see I quickly threw together a little sequencer and I have to say the results are amazing. What you're seeing right now only took me like 60 to 70 minutes of actual work time and the results are speaking for itself. This is unheard of in this time frame. So I do have to say, I believe that times are changing in the industry. Crazy, crazy. Thank you very much for your attention. This was my 50 cents on the new AI workflow that I've come to rely on and to love. I hope that I could give you some insights or inspiration on your next piece, on your next workflow. And I know that artificial intelligence, the use of artificial intelligence in your creative workflow is a very divisive topic. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you're already down here, subscribe, click the bell if that's still a thing. I have, I have no idea. Here's a link to all of my socials. If you wanna leave me a coffee on Patreon, much appreciated, thank you very much. And as far as I know, a lot, couple of links should pop up right now for other videos. Thank you for your attention and I'll see you guys in the next video.